What's up guys? Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Here we have another quick amplifier test for you guys. The MTX Thunder 2300. This is from sometime in the mid 90s. This amp is rated 150 watts by 2 and the 4 ohms. Uh, 300 by 2 and the 2 ohms or bridge mono 600 watts. So we're going to do the bridge mono at 4 ohms and see if we can uh, See if we can beat that 600 watts. So let's first try out the certified run. Mono. And four ohms. Start dyno, start the track. See if we can beat 600 watts at 1% distortion. Yes, we can. Good gracious, check that out my friends. 860 watts at 13.46 volts wow pretty incredible all right so let's uh try the uncertified at four ohms start dyno this takes it up to clipping Yeah, boy, 857 watts, 13.44 volts at clipping. Let's try the dynamic power run at 4 ohms mono. So let's go back. Dynamic power run, mono, next, 4 ohms. I've got to choose different track. Start dyno, start the track. Let's see what she'll do. Woo! Now the funny part is, guys, on these old school amps, this MTX is said to do 750 watts bridged dynamic power at 14.4 volts. That's the rating from MTX. Check this out. Dynamic power using the same standard. At 13.9 volts, we get 992 watts. That's what I'm talking about. Old school underrated power. MTX Thunder 2300 for the win. Big D Wiz. SMD, DeMore Engineering Amplifier Dyno. Another test of an old school amplifier. Until next time, make sure you're subscribed, like, comment, all that good stuff. More amplifier tests coming. Be prepared to be amazed. I'm out of here.